Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Muhammad Danish and today, representing my group members, I will present on innovation idea entitled Innovative Approach on Forecasting Landslide Using Drone Technology. So feel free to pause whenever you are reading the poster. First of all, I will start with the introduction. The use of drones is actually widely used, even in civil engineering. So the examples of the use of drones, uh, for example, is monitoring building structures, surveying tunnels for railway tracks or roads, and even exploration of quarries and minerals. So next, we go on to the problem statement. So in civil engineering, there is a critical sector, which is the geomatics. So geomatics covers around the landslides, the slopes, those stuff that relates to earth and rocks. So in order to perform slope stability analysis, we require data uh, regarding the terrain of the slope. So conventionally, in land surveying, we use total station. But total station is actually quite tedious work. Uh, it requires many kind of equipment such as total station, uh, prism, prism rods, and also measurements. Then. Uh, in total station method also, we require manpower such as people to handle the equipment and people required to record all the, da the data. So back to the drones. Although the drones is widely used in civil engineering, the method to uh, cover around the geomatics, uh, especially in landslide prediction, has not been established yet. So in this presentation, I will cover the methods that we can use drones to predict those landslides. So first of all, we'll be collecting the data using drones to do survey mapping. We fly drones that is connected to internet so that these drones can have a real-time data when connected to Jupum server to the internet. After the drone finish flying over the designated area, then the data from the drone will be transferred into computer software so that it can be processed. Now the data that already been processed can be generated into a 3D model using special modeling software. Then the data from the 3D model, we can transfer it into a slope modeling software to do slope stability analysis. So from this analysis, the results, uh, we will get the factor of safety for the slope so that we can assess whether that slope is safe or not safe. Next, we'll go on with the novelty and usefulness of this method. So the application of drone in land surveying already existed, but the application to predict landslide is quite innovative and its usefulness can be divided into two. First, it is more effective because this drone has higher accuracy and uh, give real-time data when connected with the internet uh, and also connect with the server of Jupum. Next, it is time efficient because this drone can fly fast and reach uh, places that is hard for people to go. Uh, next, 
because it is done uh, automatically, we can prevent human errors in taking the measurements and also minimize the human risk. So it is also cost efficient because uh, we can decrease survey mapping cost while improving turnaround time and also using drone can avoid overruns and delays. So using this method, it will benefit because uh, due to the high accuracy and real-time data, we can get faster uh, results and also uh, make a uh, informed decisions for safety measures and landslide pre prevention actions uh, by the authority so that we can save more life and the environment. Finally, we've come to the commercialization potential. This method actually is increased in demand uh, of consultation with the property developers, infrastructure and construction industry because there are increase in projects near hilly areas. And this uh, method is actually required by the local authorities to assess slope safety and landslide prevention. And lastly, this method when we can do uh, key partnering with the Ministry of Work to assess areas that is susceptible to landslide and also uh, with the Ministry of Education to provide education to students and also consultations. That is all from me. Thank you.